This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. Click the Fight TV link on WrestlingMayhemShow.com to support this show and watch pro wrestling, MMA, boxing, and so much more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash WrestlingMayhemShow. Up here in Meadville, PA, not Meadville, Amen, with Big D, Dave Kitch joins. He's the uh, ring announcer, of course, here with the International Wrestling Cartel. How you doing, man? Very good, very good. So, so we had Nick on a couple of weeks ago, as you probably heard by now, and we had an outpouring of requests to have you on the show. And so I'm glad we caught you here backstage, because um, I know you're you're a little far away. So I figured it's good to have you in person. Um, so, like, first of all, quick questions, like we do on the Indie Mayhem show. How'd you get into wrestling? Well, I used to be very uh, big into the Masters of the Universe, like He-Man and Skeletor back in uh, the 80s, and my parents wanted me to get into some real-life superheroes, so they introduced me to wrestling. And uh, March 1st, 1986 was the very first uh, wrestling program I watched, Saturday night's main event. It set up WrestleMania 2, and the very next year I was hooked on it, um, and WrestleMania 3 was the very first pay-per-view I watched, and I've been into wrestling ever since. Oh, that's awesome. So what, what rolled you from there to getting into uh, uh, well, well, the, the wrestling business? Because you don't just announce. You actually have ventured into other uh, sides of the wrestling business, right? Yes, I have. I've got, uh, I was a state runner-up a wrestler in Ohio for uh, Strongsville High School. I was also uh, wrestling at the Funkin' Conservatory back in the early 2000s as the premier talent, David Kitch. Um, and uh, I've been into just professional wrestling. I just love the, sp- I love the sport. I love the entertainment and um, uh, try to stay involved as long as I can. Awesome. Uh, so, you know, how would you get to the announcing? Uh, announcing's always been something that I've loved to do. Back when I was real young, I used to have the, uh, the LJN wrestling action figures, and I would uh, commentate the matches while I was uh, playing with them, and they're all beat up. I wish I would have saved them, though, because they're all worth a fortune now if they're in the original packaging, but, uh, but not anymore for me. But anyways, I used to commentate those matches. I used to pretend I was Jesse the Body Ventura and, and Vince McMahon. Um, I don't do a good Jesse the Body impersonation anymore, but uh, uh, yeah, so I've just grown up with it and just love to do the commentary. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. We're having fun here. We've been with the IWC for a good while now. It's uh, definitely a, 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 you know, a pretty crazy show. It is crazy, and, and I'm learning every time I go out here, but I just love the crowd. I mean, IWC has got such a great organization, and the crowds are so passionate. It's just so much fun every time out. That's awesome. So, uh, what are you watching? Uh, you know, as far as wrestling, I mean, are you, you know, giving a big notice to 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 announcers that are happening these days? You know, what's kind of uh, got your attention? Oh, well, I, I'm a big WWE fan. Uh, obviously, I watch uh, all the WWE programming. I'm really excited about what Impact Wrestling is going to do now that Jeff Jarrett is back in uh, in charge uh, with Impact and Bruce Pritchard coming in. I think their pro- uh, product is looking really good. Um, so I'm really excited on those two fronts. And Ring of Honor, I'm starting to get into a little bit. So uh, a little bit of a mix and match of stuff. That's awesome. Um, so what's the best and the worst thing about ring announcing with pro wrestling? Uh, it's chaotic. That would probably be the worst thing. But the best thing about ring announcing is just the energy of the crowd. Once you step in that ring and you're between the ropes, I mean, it's just you can't compare it to anything. Awesome. Uh, surprise question. What is your favorite He-Man character that's not He-Man or Skeletor? Uh, Trapjaw. Trapjaw. Good answer. Good answer out there. And in fact, Masters of the Universe now have like pop vinyl mystery mini type figures out. And I just got a Trapjaw mystery mini figure and it's sitting on my dresser at home. That's awesome. <laughs> Go check out. Where can people check you out online? Well, I'm on Twitter, at Dave Kitch. I'm also on Instagram, Dave Kitch, D-A-V-E-K-I-C-H. All one word. Check it out. Hey, guys. Still in Meville here at Night of the Superstar 6. And, hey, Britt Baker, friend hey. of the show. Look, and you got you got something a little extra on your shelf. Ah, uh, yeah, this time. A little hardware. Look at that. First <laughs> ever women's champion. That's a nice-looking belt. I know, right? It's pretty... Pretty pretty, right? <laughs> and also, I mean, we're a week away uh, from, at this point, a week ago you were in Orlando, premiered with Shimmer Wrestling. I did. I debuted with Shimmer, which is like a huge opportunity for me. You know, I'm thankful for Rise, which kind of put my foot in the door with Shimmer. Um, Kevin Harvey, Dave Prezak. Uh, it was an awesome opportunity. I, got a, I had a four-way match with Veda Scott, Nevea, and Samantha Heights. You know, you know four, three excellent girls, and uh, I came out on top for my debut, so I was obviously over the top excited, and um, definitely even more excited for the opportunities ahead with Shimmer and Rise. That's so, um, you're, you're someone that I'm seeing a lot of people talking about these days, and <laughs> like, like I don't really know how better to put that because they're just like, oh yeah, pretty bigger. Like I know her, <laughs> you know, uh, around all the comments on the internet and everything. Um, like this has been a really fast rise for you. 
Uh, yeah, that's definitely one way to, to say it. And I, I always say I've just been having a ton of stupid good luck. <laughs> <laughs> like with opponents, opportunities, mm. uh, promoters trusting me. I don't know. It's, I, I, like I said, it's just a ton of good luck. And I like to say that I'm prepared for the opportunities I'm given. So, I think when we last talked to you, you were preparing for a match with Hornswoggle. It sounds like a lot is going on with Hornswoggle Swoggle up in Cleveland. It is. It is. So uh, we kind of have a little, we have our, our separate teams now. So mm. he's aligned with... Um, Brian Carson and Dr. Dan, and I have Dick Justice and Space Monkey on my team now, so obviously we will never lose in life, ever. We win, always. That wins, <laughs> that wins in life, on the internet, in a lot of ways. Yeah. So that's amazing. So what's coming up here? What's next for you? What's next? Um, so we have the Connors Cure show, nice. which is coming up. That's going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. Um, in May, uh, I always look forward to seeing if I'm invited to the JT Lightning Invitational Tournament with AIW. Um, Shimmer, Big Shimmer Rise Weekend coming up in uh, first weekend of July. Um, you know, we always have Super Indie coming mm -hmm. up. I obviously won't be competing, but I'll definitely be there watching. Wouldn't it be nice to have a women's Super Indie someday? I know, mm -hmm. someday, maybe. Hey, plumber. Uh, wink, wink. <clears throat> <laughs> I've said for a long time, Pittsburgh needs a women's show, so. I know, that'd be, that'd be awesome. But enough talent, man. Right, and, uh, you know, we have a lot of good shows coming up. We have the May 13th show. We have Clearfield coming up at the end of April, which is always a fun crowd. Um, you know, really. Awesome. Well, speaking of crowds here in Meadville, this is a record-breaking thing with the Hardys, Ricky Unreal. Steambo. It's amazing. Uh, uh, you had Rachel Ellering tonight. Uh, how did things go out there? Awesome. Rachel is just a phenomenal competitor. I, I love her. I, I watch her all the time. You know, obviously a fan of her, a fan of her dad. Um, but we had a, it had a, a fun match, a hard-hitting match, but, you know, here it is. So let it speak for itself. <laughs> there you go. All right. Thank you so much, Britt Baker. Check it out. Where are you at online? I am at Real Britt Baker on everything across the board. There you go. Check it out. Thank you so much. Let's see who else we can find here uh, back hallways in Meadville. <laughs> Sick, 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 you know how I act now If you got a problem, come and see it from the back down Act wild, steady, sip and check This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.